fair to say at the moment that politics and, and politicians, uh, their reputation is possibly as low as it has been for some time. Um, feeding into that, the situation in this area, the fact that there's an electoral pact, I think people are again looking at uh, politics askance. Uh, there was one question came forward from Councillor John O'Kane uh, on your own situation. He does acknowledge that you serve the county well as chief executive. However, he says your involvement in this pan-unionist pact has undone much, much of the progress the council has made um, in promoting community relations and good relations and drives people back to the old us and them trenches. How do you, just, how do you justify your involvement in this campaign? Uh, there, Particularly there, when Michelle Giller knew says there is a suspicion on the, on the nationalist side that all the forces, including the Orange Order, are behind your campaign. Well, uh, first of all, John O'Kane is a gentleman and has worked very closely with me for many years, and I respect him very much indeed. Um, with regard to the position that I have taken, I can assure you that I was never involved in any pact or any uh, some secret deal or whatever. I was never involved in that. When the suggestion was put to me, by so again, I, I've said it before, by someone who is not involved in politics, I didn't take it serious. But when a couple of other people then came and said, look, this is the opportunity to get representation at Westminster. And I became more serious. I love this county. I believe we're losing an awful lot by not being represented at Westminster. And did those you know, discussions to, to, take place when you were still chief executive, Rodney? Were you having those discussions while you were supposed to be serving all of the people of Fermanagh? I have been involved in this campaign for a very short period of time. And it's taken me this length of time to realise the amount of work that goes on in fighting a campaign. And without the support and the help from the different parties who have given me that support... But when you involve the Orange Order in it, it's not a democracy. <laughs> OK. John. I mean, I have just the same right as these three. I'm standing too. Could you just... I should, say, I, I should say, mention a point here. I'm, I'm busting to make a point. OK, just let him make a point. Gentlemen, I think he should be let, because he is a candidate. <laughs> He's an independent. I'm an independent. He gets all the help from the Unionist parties, and I get no help whatsoever. How come they give him all the help? I'm, I'm the same political status as him. He gets all the help, and all the posters come up, and I have to put all my posters up myself. How come they not give me any hand and he gets all, all the hand? Now, Rodney, answer one question. Are you a Tory or not? Yes or no? Yes, are you a Tory or not? Answer the question. I am not yeah. a Tory. What? I am not a Tory. Are you taking the whip? I am not a member of any party. <coughs> I have said that on national issues, I will certainly vote with the Tories. On any issue relating to Fermanagh and South Tyrone, I will always make my decision based on, on what I believe to be best for the people of this constituency. Just one last point. Right. right. There's, good Irish, there's good Irish speakers in Fermanagh. Mm -hmm. Right. Jerry That's Adams is a good Irish speaker. Tory means, translated into English, it means bandit. Right. <laughs> now, that's what a Tory means, a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just, at this point, can I bring in, I know that uh, uh, Sundra Combley is here tonight and wanted to say a few words. Is she? Yeah, she's here. Yep. Alliance Party believes in non-sectarianism. We believe in shared future. Sectarianism is costing Northern Ireland one billion pounds per year. One billion pounds a year we can use or we can spend on better schools, hospitals, infrastructure, and other essential services. We can use that money to bring more teachers, doctors, nurses into our county. That money is very important to us. That money also can be spent in bringing green technologies, bringing high-tech industries to create 
sustainable economy. Alliance Party believes in shared future. Alliance Party believes in togetherness. We have to come together and move forward, irrespective of any differences like race, religion, ethnicity, sexuality, or disability. And we promise that we will deliver on those matters. Thank you very much. On the, on the subject of pacts, um, why did the SDLP not give Sinn Féin a fair hearing on, on keeping the seat for nationalism? Well, let's just take Sinn Féin's starting point on it. And Sinn Féin said on the Friday uh, that this was a grubby sectarian pact. And then they did a somersault over the weekend and reversed their view and decided to ask us to engage in a grubby sectarian pact. Now, it either is or it isn't. And in our view, it was and is a grubby sectarian pact. And therefore, there was never any question. The people of Fermanagh south to Rome need another choice, need to have somebody there that they can look to, that can say there is another way. We don't have to go down this route. And if I can just divert for a second, the, the image of Rodney Connor in my head is of somebody who's sitting with his hands over his ears and if he had another set of them over his eyes as well when he hears the mention of sectarian pact. Because Rodney's probably a decent man, or is a decent man, but he just doesn't want to hear it. But it's the reality, Rodney, and it's true. And the same is true with Sinn Féin, because they immediately take the other side of it and go, well, they're doing it, so shall we. Well, we're not engaging in that. There's division on the Sinn Féin side. Witness Eglish yesterday. There's division there too. And they would have, where, where, where Jerry Adams was challenged yesterday in, 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 in Eglish, along with Michelle Gilder and your wider family. And they would have us wrap the flag around us as well, or wrap the flag around everybody as well, as if somehow or other this was protectionism. But once again, it's sparing the blushes so the blushes can't be seen. And I think the people of Fermanagh South to Rome should be aware of the plot all around them and should take the honest, high and right road. There's an easy road to take, and you can throw the flag around you if you want. Or there's a right road to take, and that right road can sometimes be the harder road. But ultimately, it is the right road. And that's what we should do. We should unite and say, we're not letting this image be cast abroad. And as I say, given that it can potentially be characterized in the way that I've done, shows you that it's solid, and it's dirty, and it's sectarian. And it shouldn't be allowed to happen. Michelle, uh, div divisions, divisions within Sinn Féin, grubby sectarian well, pact. Um, first of all, We'll take it back to that Friday. And yes, we did describe it as sectarian. I don't think we used the word grubby. That's one of our words. Alex Maskey did. But um, in terms of the, the Friday, when we, when we put out our press statement on the back of Rodney's announcement, um, we listened to people over the weekend, and they were all saying to us, it, well, so it's they incredible. Make up your policy now. It's well, incredible what has happened. Four parties plus a secret sectarian bigoted organisation in the Orange Order came together. Now, I believe in equality. I believe in a level playing field. And the, the figures show, Rodney, that there is a nationalist majority in Fermanagh South Throne. So it took every shade of unionism from the TUV down um, to, to try and, and patch up, uh, cobble together a deal to keep me out. Now, what we did on the Monday was we invited Margaret Ritchie to have a meeting to discuss it. That was knocked back and she went to the media with it. Um, we have since unilaterally stepped aside in South Belfast because we do believe there are two seats here that are vulnerable and we wanted to talk about them. We weren't even get afforded the courtesy of a response. It was, we heard it in the media. But bring, I want to bring people back 10 years because 10 years ago, unionist parties came together to get Rodney into a job in Fermanagh District Council and it has cost 248,000 to try and defend it. So now they're doing the same thing with the same fella and ultimately what it's about is about not having a Catholic about the place. And they've come together when the going gets tough, the unionists come together to try and keep me out. Now I have delivered, I've represented everybody. Nobody, there is nobody who will tell you that I have been, there's been an, one ounce of sectarianism in me. I've worked for everybody regardless of creed, colour or religion. 
That's what I want to continue doing. And the, what he's talking about in terms of Eglish yesterday, that wasn't a row, disunity within Sinn Féin. The person isn't in Sinn Féin. So Fergal is again, Fergal's trying to find some scandal monger with, with, uh, and make something out of nothing. And, and that doesn't really surprise me either, because you're right, Denzel, what Fergal is doing, Fergal, Fergal's contribution to this election is just a distraction. All he can do is hand the seat to a Tory.